Hello guys, welcome to another Jira administration tutorial from rcvacademy.com. Um, in this tutorial, we are going to learn about some of the more um, administration concepts like uh, support entitlement number, licenses, and then how you can link Confluence to Jira and add other links um, to other important uh, applications in your uh, organization. Uh, then we'll see how you can install uh, different apps and know more about uh, reindexing and what reindexing is in Jira. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to cover is um, how you can verify the support and title number and the licenses in Jira. So simply uh, press the full stop sign and go to versions and licenses and the version and licenses page will redirect you to the applications and below applications you will see all the applications that are installed in your jira instance so at the moment you can see i have jira service desk desk 4.2.4 installed uh, and this is a trial version and that will expire in 29 days and here uh, it will show you the trial the expiration date if you have actual license or the commercial license it will show you um, the the date for the uh, expiry and then the next thing is the support entitlement number which is very important when you are contacting atlassian support for any of the issues in your jira instance so uh, each of the application that you have installed will have a unique uh, support entitlement number um, that you have to provide when you're contacting support um, below that it will show you the uh, the license type the organization name etc and license key uh, then you have jira software which has similar details so maintenance when the maintenance is going to expire and how many user license is it right so i have used six users already in this instance it's a 10 user license and below that i have the core jira core which is unlimited user license again as it is the jira uh, core trial version so that's uh, about the jira versions and support entitlement number where where you can get it in jira uh, the next thing is when say for example you have the confluence installed on uh, your premise and you want to link both jira and confluence then um, you will have you can access confluence through jira instance itself so how you can uh, do that you can simply uh, go to the links uh, and go to application links and here in configure application link so below applications you'll see the integrations so either you uh, go through the cogwheel and go to the system admin it will redirect you to the, to the system page um, system admin page or go to the application so through the cogwheel you can go to the um, applications uh, and below applications you have the application link or the shortcut as i showed you just type the full stop and start typing application links and it will open the links page now here you just provide the application url so i have installed confluence and it's available on it's on my local machine and the port is 8090 so I'll just provide that link here and click on create new link and you can see the pop-up here uh, that the display URL for the confluence is coming through the name is confluence and the Jira display URL is coming through as well and uh, I'm the administrator of both instances so I'll check that box and click on continue as soon as you click on continue you will be redirected to the confluence um, instance to create a reciprocal link so you have to authenticate yourself in the confluence once that's done so it's giving some config error but let's try um, and see to progress further and see what the error is later so uh, this error might be because i have already configured the link once and then deleted the link um, so let me try and continue and see what 
happens next and then we'll troubleshoot if there are any configuration issues or linking issues later so it redirected me back to jira and i entered the admin access password and it's completing the configuration of the link and yes so it got connected so i think there was a temporary error because the the in somewhere in the configuration when you have already configured that link before uh, between Jira and Confluence, uh, Confluence, there might be something of, uh, existing in the logs, and that's why that error was there. But because I went through and deleted the link and tried to reconfigure, it got connected successfully. You can also check the status or edit the details, so you can see the outgoing connection and incoming connection are both green here. So that means the connection has been successful and. Uh, the, both the instances are connected now after the connection you can see that this little um, icon here available and you have Jira and Confluence instance available so you can directly click on Confluence uh, link here and it will redirect you the, to the Confluence link now um, the next thing that you can do is you can configure these links and the order that you see in the link so in the application navigator you can choose the order in which these links will appear and also you can choose if there are other important applications in your organizations so for example you want to add the link to your intranet or to your external website then you can add those links and you can also provide um, specific access to the group so for example um, you want to give access to jira only to your core user or only to your software users uh, then you can also provide or this access you can choose this group here uh, or the number of groups and update to provide access to a specific application so that is also possible now once um, once these settings are changed you can see uh, if I just refresh the page you can see that now different uh, applications are available there so confluence and the website RCV Academy link is also available in the drop-down now the next thing is how you can go ahead and install some of the add-ons so to install the add-on you can simply go to the marketplace uh, and if you just type in the marketplace and it will um, redirect you to the uh, class in marketplace wherein you can find free and paid add-ons for your Jira instance as per your needs so you can simply go ahead to the marketplace and filter the uh, applications as per the paid or free category and you can install the apps from this marketplace now once you install any of the apps from this marketplace you will be um, asked to reindex and reindexing is basically uh, whenever you do any configuration changes or install any app or um, any any sort of administrative activities that change the configuration of Jira, you will be asked to reindex. And why this reindexing is required, or you are asked to do that, because uh, this search in index becomes uh, out of sync with Jira configuration. So, whatever search index is there at the moment. Uh, at this current instant if, instance if you change any of the configuration in Jira this search index becomes out of sync and uh, then you won't be able to search certain things through Jira search if you don't reindex now because this Jira instance or my Jira instance is very uh, new and there are not many issues at the moment and it's it's not many projects so if I try to do reindexing I'll go to reindex and to reindex you can just simply go to reindexing and you can start reindexing from there 
So here I can just simply background reindex. I can select that or you can lock Jira and rebuild reindex, which means that Jira will be unavailable to all the users while until the reindexing is complete. Um, the best option is to background reindex and Jira will be available to the users, um, uh, but it will take longer uh, and you can do the reindex. But in the production scenarios or in your organization, you should try reindexing when Jira is very, uh, or, or in the, outside of the office hours when there is very less load on Jira and the users are least impacted. So when there is a lot of projects and issues in Jira, then the reindexing might take a couple of hours to complete. So that's pretty much all about for um, about the support entitlement number, uh, how support entitlement number is required. Uh, when you're contacting Jira support or Atlassian support, then how you can link Confluence with Jira and add other links in Jira, uh, how reindexing is important, and what is the relevance of reindexing in Jira. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, please do share and subscribe for more tutorials like this.